spokesman for a candidate for U.S. Senate. Good evening. We thank you for joining us tonight at 6. The Nebraska Farm Bureau has thrown their support behind Ben Sass. They have, but don't expect another statewide endorsement from the group anytime soon. NTV Sarah Kirkley joins us now from our Grand Island newsroom to tell us why. This is only the second time ever the Nebraska Farm Bureau has thrown their support behind a candidate in a statewide primary. Just last week, Sarah Palin and Ted Cruz rallied behind SAS in North Platte. Today, a smaller crowd near Giltner, but it comes with the backing of 56,000 Farm Bureau member families. Officials say the county bureaus determined the endorsement. We don't make these kinds of endorsements, particularly in the primary, very often. But in this case, we have a candidate that our members have looked at and see as an extremely strong candidate. President Steve Nelson says one thing that sets SAS apart from the rest of the candidates, he listens. What I hear from Nebraska farming and ranching families is chiefly about Obamacare, about national debt, and about the EPA's war on ag. SAS says he's grateful for the endorsement. In just a few weeks, he'll face Clifton Johnson, Shane Osborne, Sid Dinsdale, and Bart McClay in the GOP primary. Dinsdale has been endorsed by former coach Tom Osborne, and several current and former state senators have thrown their support behind Osborne. All right, Sarah Kirkley in Grand Island, thanks so much.